Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to Gamertube, and welcome back to our Little Nightmares character concept series. So in today's video, we'll be going into the character, the Mailman. So we'll be going through this character's locations, their gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. And also a very big thank you to Jay for over on Twitter for designing today's character. Now I'll just let everybody know that with these ideas and stuff, they're just character concepts, so they're not really anything that is set in concrete, nor am I expecting Bandai Namco or Tarsia Studios to do anything with these ideas. So typically these are just some creative fun writing that we can do and share a pretty cool and creepy story. And lastly, before we start today's video, if you could please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing as it helps out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Alrighty, let's get into the mailman. So we start off in an abandoned suburban area. All the houses appear to be empty and the streets are deserted and lonely. We then come to the house at the end of the street. We see our main character who has been living in the attic for some time. Just like Six in the start of Little Nightmares 1, they have seemed to make themselves at home in the attic of this abandoned house. As always with these character concept videos, I'll be using this pre-existing character model for the main character. I'll be referring to them as the child or the player. The main protagonist in these videos isn't really the focus, so I'll let you guys imagine what specific character you want to play in this concept idea. As the child wakes up, they walk over to the attic window and peer into an old pair of binoculars. It appears that the child is looking for something in particular. After a while, they come across what they've been seeking. In the distance, they see a strange character behind a white picket fence. This character seems to be crawling on the ground. As they keep watching this suspicious figure, they then see them leave a package at the doorstep of an abandoned house. It becomes clear to the player that this is the individual that the child has been searching for. This individual is the Mailman. An eerie looking character with a wide open mouth that crawls along the ground delivering packages and letters to seemingly empty houses. The child has been tracking the Mailman for weeks following them wherever they go. It seems that this creepy looking delivery worker has something that the child wants. Whilst the mailman is in sight, the child decides to make their move and follow them. In this gameplay segment, the player would have to make their way down the street and retrieve the package that the mailman has left at that house. As they make their way across the street, the player would have to be careful not to make any loud noises to alert the mailman. Once they reach the doorstep, they eagerly open up the package and to their disappointment, it isn't what they were after. The child looks behind them and sees the mailman delivering letters across the street. The child decides to follow behind them and wait for the disturbing delivery worker to leave another package at a different door. In this stealth based gameplay segment, the player would have to follow the mailman as he goes to each individual house. The player would have to be very careful not to get noticed once again by the mailman. If they get too close or make any sudden sounds, the mailman would turn and face them and land out a horrible cry. The mailman would furiously chase the player and try to grab them and put them in their mailbag. The player would have to get away or even hide from this creepy character. They could run in and hide behind gaps in a white picket fence or hide behind tall tufts of grass. Once the mailman has stopped looking for the child, they then drop off another package. The player runs straight towards it and quickly unwraps it. Once again, this isn't what the child is after. The child would then continue to tail the mailman towards their next house. Another package is left at the doorstep and when it's safe to do so, the child once again approaches the package. Just as they begin to open the box, a large shadow looms over the player. They turn around and see the mailman looking right at them. He quickly grabs the player and the screen fades to black. After a while, the player awakens surrounded by boxes. As the player comes to, they soon realise that they are in the back of the mailman's delivery truck. They appear to be moving as they can slightly hear and feel the vibration of the engine. The player would then begin to search the packages and try to find that one thing that they were after. 
After searching through numerous boxes, they then notice a strange looking package right at the top of a stack of boxes. The player would climb up this large stack of boxes to try and reach this strange looking package. They'd have to be careful as not to move too quickly as the large stack of boxes could collapse and fall on them. They would also have to stand still and brace themselves whenever the truck drives over any speed bumps to avoid the whole stack collapsing. Once they reach the top of the stack, they finally open up this small package. And there it is. The item they've so desperately been searching for this whole time. As they go to reach in and pull it out of the package, they feel the truck come to a halt. All of a sudden, the truck's back door rolls open. The child quickly closes the box and takes it with them and hides. The mailman has climbed into the back of the truck and has started rummaging through all the boxes trying to look for this child. In this gameplay segment, the child would have to hide and find their way past the mailman to get out of this truck. The player could use an empty box to move around in and when the mailman looks in their direction, they would have to stay perfectly still. Or they could hide under numerous boxes and when the mailman lifts them up, they would have to run to the next box to avoid being seen. After surviving this cat and mouse scenario, the player sees an opening and they run for the roller door. The mailman notices the player and charges after them. The player runs for their life as they jump out at the last second before they get grabbed. As they jump out the back of the roller door of the truck, they then notice what looks to be the button that controls the door. They quickly push the button as the roller door comes down and traps the mailman in his own truck. The child, still holding the package, jumps down from the truck and looks around at their new surroundings. As they look around, they soon find themselves in a new neighborhood. But everything still seems the same. The houses still look abandoned, and the streets are empty and lonely as well. It seems that they'll have to start over and find themselves a new home. But none of that matters now. The only thing that matters is that they've acquired the true item that they've always wanted. Alrighty everyone, that's all we had for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. And also let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of the mailman character, what characters you'd like to see in the future, and also, more importantly, what you think is in that box at the end of the video. Alrighty, well until the next video, I'll catch you later. Bye.